Uh, hello all, Niranjan Joshi from CCAM. I am representing CCAM Center for Cellular and Molecular Platforms. Uh, we work closely with Cellco. I am program lead digital health and innovation deployment at CCAM. I, um, I think this has been a, a wonderful uh, effort. Energy for Health has been a wonderful effort, uh, especially in the northeastern regions where we know that the uh, terrains are difficult, uh, population is uh, spread over large geography, uh, the uh, usual um, and uh, widespread problems that are there in the whole of India also are here in terms of the availability of skilled workforce, uh, availability of infrastructure and so on and therefore it is very important to understand from that lens for us that energy for health and uh, uh, in general the strategy of solarization is very important. I understand that every uh, two hours of electricity uh, shutdown uh, can lead to a very significant amount of um, uh, deteriorated health outcomes and therefore um, an uninterrupted supply of the electricity and uh, solar power, harnessing solar power towards that is uh, very, very important. Um, uh, what I uh, understand uh, from this uh, conference, today's conference which is E for Health, um, e Energy for Health, Northeastern region uh, is that uh, we need to work uh, in partnership. It is very important. There are many, very many set of um, organizations working in adjacencies and aligning each of their expertise is very, very important. Uh, our expertise, for example, CCAM's exper expertise, for example, lies in uh, enabling the deep science innovations in the area of health and largely in the area of life sciences. Uh, similarly, if we are working with the organizations uh, like PATH, which has uh, strong, um, uh, strong expertise in the areas of health systems and then organization like CELCO, which has uh, a strong expertise in terms of the uh, sustainability, energy sustainability. I think uh, aligning of uh, such partners together is very, very important and that's where I see a great opportunity. Uh, E4Health uh, uh, Northeast chapter was able to bring that together and uh, I understand and I believe that that's a success. Uh, the second important part we need to also understand is that eventually the scale has to come from the public health system and therefore aligning the public health system from the beginning, uh, partnering with them from the beginning and then eventually when our efforts, our development uh, program efforts are handed over to them, they are ready to, to take that up and scale them up is very important. So that is the second important lesson. And the third important lesson, which was a shocker for me, and I'm sure the uh, uh, shocker uh, that is uh, that panel members also said, it's a shocker is that actually right now the uh, problem within India, as the uh, panel member aptly put it, is that we have the problem of absorbing the support, uh, uh, financial support that is available through the philanthropic efforts, whether it is CSR, international foundations, or uh, any other effort. Uh, that's partly because the set of organizations that are working and capable of delivering uh, on those um, uh, on those particular uh, set of constraints, objectives, mandates uh, are very small. And uh, therefore, uh, there is a very good opportunity available. We need to start developing our uh, expertise as well as our uh, capabilities in this area come together, work in partnership, work with the government and then deliver um, uh, energy efficient, scalable health care uh, uh, to all, which I again, uh, it was something that was written all around here is that health is a right, it's not a privilege. So I think energy for health is an extremely important step 
going towards that. Thank you.